Hello, my name is Daryl, and today I'll be showing you how to connect an external visualizer to sound switch on one Windows machine. And honestly, this helps me a lot so that I can develop my shows anywhere on the road with just my laptop without having to connect up any gear, and I love it. And here's an example of what it looks like when you are done. With you, The first step is to install the software. I'll leave the URL in the description below. But this software is called MA, and you want to install Grand MA2 on PC, and you also want to install MA3D software. So once you have them installed and you have them booted up, start out first with Grand MA. So I'm going to create a new session for this tutorial. So I'll do a new show called Sound Switch Demo 3. And I'll try to get rid of as many of the settings so you can see them. OK, as you can see, the stage has changed. And that is OK. So first up. Go to Setup, go to MA Network Control. As you can see, I'm connected to a session. So let me leave the session. So what you want to do is you want to give it a name. And since we're running this on the same PC, do this URL, 127.0.0.1. If you're running this on a different machine, then that's when you would want to use a different IP address. And then you also want to make sure that this is listening on the same port. So go to File, Settings, Network, then make sure that the IP address is 127.0.0.1. So this is how they talk to each other. You have to highlight this row, and then you have to click Create Session. And notice that now it is green right here, and we show that the name I gave, SoundSwitch Demo 1, right here, that they are connected. Next, go to MA Network Configuration, go to 3D, and you want to look for the 127.0.0.1, go under Session Member, right click Yes, User Administrator 1, and then it should be green and it should be working. And then next, go to Network Protocols. And you want to make sure that the mode is input, because we want sound switch to be inputting DMX. And also note that this is the Artnet tab. And we want to make sure Artnet input active. And so that is all set. Now we need to add our fixtures. So you're going to want to have the same fixtures that you have in Sound Switch. So for this demo, I'm going to have two movers and two pars. And while Grand Demi has a vast library full of fixtures, they don't have all the fixtures. And I'm going to show you how to create your own fixture if it's not present. So. You have to name a layer. So in this layer, I'm just going to have movers. So I go from library. So mine are the Chauvet 255. So I put the manufacturer here and then the fixture. I'll search under 255. Take note that there's the 13 channel mode. So it's highlighted. I click import. I'm going to have two. And this patch break right here, this is basically saying that like, this is a DMX address. So it's going to start on channel 1. Since there's 2, it's going to go 1 to 13 for the fixture, then 14 to 26 on the next. So you can see this one starts on 1, this one starts on 14. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and add PARs. So, mine are called 
Junmin pars, and they don't exist on here. So the best thing to do is to find something similar. To find that out, you have to look at the manual. This is my manual for my pars. As you can see that there are 10 channels and sound switch mostly cares about the dimmer and the colors. So I'll need to find something with 10 channels that has all of these colors. If they don't have them, then I will add them. Okay, so show of a, let's just type in par. Okay, this looks somewhat similar, eight channels, has a dim, and it has six colors, so this would be perfect. So I want two of these pars, and now it is time to modify them. So go to fixture types, and this is the new one that I just added. So click on edit, and so I need three channel, three dummy channels, because they're not going to be used after dim. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Doesn't matter what they are. And then amber and white. These are different than here because this goes white amber. So I'm going to change these. So you right click on here. And then look for white under mixed color. So white and then below amber. Now we don't need this channel. So I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Have it highlighted and then click delete. And for this to know that this has 10 channels, you have to assign each one of these in order. So this one's right, so I'm going to right click here, give it channel 2, 3, I'm just going to assign all of these till the end. And now, as we can see, DMX footprint is 10, and it should work. Now that we modified our PARS layer, we can see that these are red because before they were eight channels, so assigned it as if it had eight channels, but now they have 10 channels and now they overlap. So to fix this, right click right here, and we have to change this to channel 37. And now you can see they are white and they are addressed correctly. So click X and this will save them. All right, and then when you go to the 3D, we can see our fixtures. So you can do some really cool styling like you saw my show, but for this tutorial, I'm not gonna get into that. So I'm just gonna move these around so that we can see each individual fixture. And to navigate this 3D editor, you can use your right click to move around. And if you click shift, you can rotate up or rotate to the side. And you can select these fixtures. You make this window a little bit bigger. And then you can modify them with this properties pane. So I'm gonna rotate these. 180 degrees so that they are facing upwards. Okay, perfect. So now we have to type in a command. So DMX 1.1 through at zero. You can also type it in over here if it's not working. You have to double click channel to get to DMX. So that resets all the fixtures to be at zero. 
for some reason this one is on. Now that all of our fixtures are at zero, we don't want GrandMA to influence or modify the DMX values. We just want them coming from sound switch. So we have to park them. So we have to issue this command, park fixture one through park channel one. Click enter. We should be good to go on the grand MA side. So now let's go to sound switch. I'm going to create a new universe. I'll call it sound switch dem, short for demo, I guess. And let's add our four fixtures. So first we want to start with uh, Chauvet. Two fifty fives, thirteen channel mode, add multiple. We want two. You can add to a new group if you'd like. And then auto address and then add. So you can see they are blue and they are following my script down here. And so let's go ahead and add a couple more. In sound switch, my lights are called Junmin. Clear out this filter to see it. It says 10 channel one. So you can just double click it and it'll add it and it will auto address it instead of having to click to add a multiple. Click done. And to make sure that they are connected and they're talking, you want to make sure that you enable ArtNet and you want to go to hardware and you want to be able to see your interface. So this interface happens to be my grand MA. So I click done and let's play this song. That's it, now they're connected, they're working. One more thing I'd wanted to add, if you're like me, sometimes you like multiple of your fixtures to share an address. And this wasn't very intuitive with Grand MA, so I just wanted to share how to do that. Like for me, I have anywhere from four to 16 to 24 uplights, and they all share the same address. So I don't want to assign them one individually because that clutters up sound switch. So I'm going to set up patch and fixture schedule and let's create a new layer. I'll call this multi pars. So let's choose the modified par we had before. So let's just choose one. It will be on address 47. And so now that we are in this menu right here, we have multi par selected and we have our fixture right here. So click on create multi patch. So let's say four. So that means that all, so I created four copies. Okay, that's fine. So I have five of these that all have the same address. And if you look at the visualizer, now I have my new fixtures. Once I click X, then it saves it. So it is loading. And then as you can see, I have five of these. And they all share the same address. So you can select multiple things if you hold down shift and then click your items. So let me rotate them so we can see it. OK, 
Okay, they're facing up. Now let's go to sound switch. And let's add that. So we should just be able to add one more part and we should be good. And then there we go. I can already see that they are working. And there you go. That is multiplexing and how to assign multiple fixtures to the same address within Grand MA. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment if you have any questions. Thank you.